Have you heard of the Soul Med series? Maybe not. Soul Meds, the series, came about from many years of preaching in South Korea. Many years ago, I was invited to preach or to pastor at an English worship. A student at the university I was teaching in uh, was a pastor of maybe about 800 people, which is small in Korea, big in this city. But uh, he was building, and English was kind of the way to go. Believing I was called to preach, and life had kind of thrown a curve in my preaching career, I accepted. If God called me to preach, he would open the door. Through many different discussions, both with uh, teenagers, adults, pastors, uh, even some elementary students, and many friends, several things were quite uh, dominant or prominent. The first was that the knowledge of God. Everybody had the knowledge of God, but a lot had a perception of God that was kind of distant and legalistic and there was not a lot of connection. So English worship for many churches had become kind of like, I call it a circus. A circus of games and fun, a place to take your children and dump them off so that they could have some English free English worship or free English class you know get a few candies and some chips and uh, just overall a free English class leaders the English leaders of uh, foreign and also Korean were geared to this making mommy happy making children happy so that they give money to the church and I like, you know, I think coming to church should be a positive experience. But there was no systematic lesson, planning, uh, or direction. Very different than the Korean uh, style or the Korean idea. Because the Koreans had their systematic book. They had everything in Korean. And the English was kind of a free-for-all. So the first five years brought a lot of ideas. It really gave me stress and, and it gave me a lot of concern that life and ministry, uh, you know, ministry was there, but I wanted to be a ministry. I wanted children and adults to understand Bible and God you know, more and better. And then life took a little bit of a curve for a couple years and the second five years I was asked to come to the same church and again the Lord gave me direction uh, wisdom and it wasn't easy all the time but after about eight months people started to understand that worship was number one Jesus is Lord is a theme that you will find throughout the series. Many people, they know God, they know the Bible, they know about Jesus Christ, they can tell you stories, but they don't understand really Lordship. And they don't understand how to fix our speaking, our living, our responses to the world around us. Many people in my circle both foreign professors and church people, Koreans and others, they started questioning church. You know, church became boring and ministry was kind of like I'm in a foreign country. People were searching. They knew it, but they needed something and what they were getting in English was just a hodgepodge of ideas. So I started thinking about 
lordship and teaching, preaching on lordship. And it's the relationship of lordship that changes how we speak and changes how we respond. It doesn't always change the church. It doesn't change the politics. It doesn't change a lot of things, but it gives us the peace, power, and confidence that the world around us desires. That is why the series was written. I write in one introduction, and when I gave this, uh, I gave the book, I put it into a ring bound, you know, a little spring bound book. I gave it to a Korean, and he said, Paul, you say God is the author. Are you a prophet? Are you saying that this is part of the Bible? And I said, not at all. God is the author because he gives me the inspiration. I get these ideas from the Lord. And I write them down. It doesn't mean that they will meet everybody's, you know, need. It doesn't mean that they are perfect grammar. It doesn't mean a lot of things. I just, I'm given some information and I write it down. And it directs my preaching. It directs my ministry. And it's for the people who I serve. Being systematic allows Koreans to learn English and Bible. They learn about God. They can ask questions. Always when I'm preaching, people ask questions and comment from pastors, retired pastors who sit in, who love to speak English and can't find what they're looking for. The topics are varied. The series is practical. So, people who come or people who read find that they can apply it easily to their life. It's uh, personal, reflective, in you know that its questions are there, so you can reflect on what you're you're reading and studying. Group study for international students. It's been used for that. It's been used for personal reflective study among pe my peers. Uh, in different Koreans and it's been recommended by people to send to their family back in their hometown or their home country. I like systematic preaching because I think in Korea a lot of the English worship is a little bit here and it's a little bit there and it's kind of like studying one verse here and one verse there and not putting the Bible together I like to study the Bible as a whole. And so that's what you will find. Long verse, you know, we read lots of verses responsibly in my worship. Because reading scripture is very important. Study of God's Word seemed to be, the first five years, very directionless. And I wanted to bring both direction for the church and if I was to leave the leaders could continue in that direction they could give direction to the next pastor the next English teacher that they hired some of these uh, in the book like a uh, series number one book one will have 52 weeks or 52 lessons some like Animals A to Z, which is the animals in the Bible A to Z, which is less, uh, book 2, will have 25, which is about half a year if you do it one study a week. They all have a thought and a prayer, scripture reading, a reading about two pages, and some reflection questions, three or four. That way you can read it uh, one piece a day. Some people they read the thought one day, they read the, they, they pray the second day, they read the scripture the third day, the two pages the fourth day, and then they answer questions. 
So it's got like a one week study and they come listen to the presentation. For others, it's recommended to to use in, in their church, but the time is too short. One friend sent it to her mother, who's a leader in the church, and her mother only has 10 minutes in her presentation. So she takes the, it takes the material and crunches it down to her little lesson plan. So it's a really good foundational ideas for creating your own things. Now there's lots of material, believe me. There is lots and lots and lots. The internet is exploding with material. So why soul meds? Soul meds will not replace all these other professional publishing. But it's good for learning English and the Bible. It's good for discussion. It's practical. You know, one of them is 52 ways the original title is 52 ways to change, to live, to change your community. Now it's like a soul meds four. One is theology A to Z, which is a layman's idea of theology. God is awesome. God is angry. Kind of a contradiction, but often we don't see God as angry. We, God is, we always see God as awesome. God is love. But we have to see God as balance. Another one is 52 names of God. Now, we know a few of them, and we know like Yahweh and Adonai. But when you think of all the things and the way they used it in the, New Test in the Old Testament, you know, God was part of their language. God was part of their life and interacted with their life, which was, as I said before, missing in the life of many Christians here in Korea. God was a little bit distant. He wasn't that close, interactive God anymore. The Lord has blessed me. I can't, I, I can't explain in all the hours of a day the blessings that He has given me. God has called me and I try to follow the calling. Soul Meds is just a part of that. It is my hope that you can download the books for free and use it for your own personal use and if you like it, you can share it, you can share the file, you can print it, they're a little bit big. Some of the 52 weeks ones are like 300 pages. So files are a little bit nicer. And you can study together with friends online, offline, in your church, in an ESL group. Because the, the ideas are simple, the words are simple. And my audience is an ESL Korean group. It's not for Koreans. It's for people who are searching to learn about God. That's all. You can find it if you go to Google Sites. If you go to Google, you can type in CC Discovery Church backslash home backslash soul dash meds. If you go to CC Discovery Church on Google, you will see it right close to the top. And you just go click, and then at the top you will see Soul Meds. So easy, you can download for free. 